that carries out in various sectors is still a big issue, whereby I think those of us that come from developing countries, the LDCs, you know, and the SIDS, you know, want that distinction to be made. Uh, whereas it seems as if our developed country partners uh, want more of an amorphous structure. So that is a thorny issue for us. So that differentiation still carries out in the area of finance, how the finance is going to be uh, accessed and the modalities for that. There is also the differentiation in terms of ambition. You know, many of us from the developing countries feel that when it comes to mitigation, even though our emissions are negligible, uh, we've gone out of our way to show in our INDCs exactly what we plan to do when it comes to lowering the uh, emissions. We feel that the larger emitters should also be more ambitious uh, when it comes to mitigation so that we can actually be optimistic about the path to a 1.5 degree C. Right now we are dissatisfied because we are at the path of on average 3 degrees C and you know that with, at 3 degrees C our very survival as a planet and human beings is threatened. So we want to see more ambition when it comes to, to that. The issue of you know, capacity building and additional support. This is really the means of implementation. Kenya's Environment Minister, Judy Wakongu, speaking to Christina Silviero in Paris. And that's your daily news and features program from the United Nations. I'm Matthew Wells. Thanks for joining us today.